Good morning, friends and fellow traders. This is Doug Campbell with Right Way Options, and this is the Morning Market Prep video for Tuesday, November 30th, 2021. Well, my goodness. Yesterday, we had a pretty good rally yesterday, and while there is a, a nonstop chorus of talking heads out there suggesting, buy the dip, buy the dip, buy the dip, I continued yesterday in RWO to express my concern and caution to be careful because we still don't know anything about what these impacts might be. And this morning with the big reversal overnight, I'm feeling just a little bit justified in that um, caution. So what does that mean for today? Well, how about we settle in? Let's buckle up. Let's get ready for the Tuesday edition of the Morning Market Prep video. Good morning, everyone. I hope you're having a good morning. I got to tell you, um, even though I did kind of call this, I take no pride in calling that. And I want to be clear about that. Th this, isn't, this isn't a competition of pride and all of those kind of things. This is really a serious thing to consider because we're talking about our livelihood, our money. And if you're out there wildly gambling in this market where there really is no edge, well, I got to question your motives here um, uh, pretty carefully. Um, obviously, we work pretty hard to make our money um, to build a trading um, uh, account and, um, and then to wildly speculate in the market like this um, is very, very dangerous. So be really, really careful. Let's take a look at these technicals in the chart. Um, obviously, we have a downtrend in play here in the market. This gap down really pushed us to some extremes. We popped up 300 and some points yesterday at the high. And then um, overnight, we were down 500 points. And we've been bouncing off of that this morning, but I wouldn't rule out a test of that low yet today. Now, keep in mind, guys, I suggested yesterday that we could not rule out a test of that retest of that price support in that chart. That's a fairly common situation, but what we've done, unfortunately, is overnight, is we've actually gone lower than that we're testing this level of price support in here pretty solidly. And if we come back down and test that, that will be um, interesting intraday. Now, keep in mind, guys, if this area holds, this may actually be a pretty decent opportunity to, um, to find some good trades. But we're going to want to watch this intraday because of the wild volatility that we're seeing in this market. We've got a lot of emotion in here. And let's keep in mind, if we were to push back down and drop even further, well, let's look for the next level of price support in the chart. And if that doesn't hold, then we look for the next level of price support in the chart. So make sure you're paying attention to that support resistance and the trends that continue to display here in this chart. If you've been just wild-eyed bullish in this market, you can see understanding and focusing in on the technicals of the chart can make a massive difference. And we need to look at the chart for what it is not for what we want it to be. So take a look at what we've got drawn right here. Is there a possibility we could hold support here in the diamonds? The answer to that is yes. Could we have that possibility that we rally back to price resistance in the chart? The answer to that is also yes. But let's notice we have created a fairly significant area of resistance here in the chart in price and technicals. So if we were to zoom right back up and rally, we're going to want to watch this area up in here for that potential reset and rejection area. And then we should also remember that markets don't just go up and go down. They sometimes and oftentimes drift sideways. So it, we can't rule out that possibility that we could drift sideways over into that downtrend. We are oversold in the short term here by, based on the technicals. But if we were to drift sideways, that certainly is possible and we could have kind of that stale look. And why would could that be a possibility? Well, let's think about it here for a second, guys. When it comes to this variant of, of um, the virus, we still don't know anything. 
Um, we don't know what the impacts want might be. And as a matter of fact, the doctor who discovered it said nobody's been hospitalized by it. And as a matter of fact, the symptoms are pretty mild. So we don't know anything yet. This is all wide-eyed speculation and um, creating this volatility where we have no edge as swing traders. Now, intraday traders, man, this is probably, you know, making your day because intraday, there's some big money to be made as these big swings come into the market. But be really, really careful if you're anything other than an experienced um, uh, intraday trader. Let's take a look at the SPY, SPY. SPY pushing down this morning, but the good news in the SPY is it did not, it did not break that low in the chart um, of Friday. So we're holding a little bit better in there on the SPY. However, I do wanna point out that uh, this is pretty common. Um, floating in mid air is never a good thing uh, for the market. So although we're bouncing back up, we cannot rule out the, the possibility that we will retest that low um, by day's end. So kind of keep an eye on that um, as a possibility. Um, let's also keep in mind that we now have this little downtrend in play and we could rest or consolidate over here. We could also push back up toward these resistance levels in the chart. Yesterday we tried to, um, you know, just ignore um, what's happening in the market, ignore the uncertainty. And, and just remember markets really hate uncertainty. So we have a lot of questions here in this chart. Could this be an opportunity to buy? Maybe let's watch and wait and let's not rule out the possibility that if we were to retest this area right here that we might push right on down and test this larger or and more substantial level of price support in the chart on the SPY. So keep a close eye on that. Let's also take a look at those Qs. Now QQQ had a really strong day. Big tech did its job yesterday pushing up and again, tech is resisting any kind of downside move here pretty substantially. But let's take a look at what we might be forming here in that chart, that possible head and shoulders in that chart. Let's notice our upside trend has broken and we have now that possibility, not uh, for sure, but we have that possibility that we could create a lower high in that chart right along this price resistance in that, um, in that position. So we'll want to take, um, take a breath here and just don't rush in this morning with um, that buy thinking we can never ever go down. There are cons concerns here to be paying attention to. And then let's take a look at our IWM. Boy, our IWM did not perform all that well yesterday. Notice that we've given up this year's worth of support in price. We've broken the trend. And yesterday we put in um, kind of a bearish engulfing candle setting a new low in the market. Now what we're gonna have to start watching here on um, the Russell is what if we push down and break this support? That would be a problem here in the market. So watch that closely. I'm not suggesting we're gonna do that today um, or even you know this week, but let's watch that carefully and closely. Um, if we were to continue to push down, that would be a significant break. Now, if we do start rallying back up and there would be reason to believe that we could, then let's watch these price resistance levels in the chart as we push back up. Um, obviously we have a downtrend in play. So we have a big level of resistance uh, forming here in the chart. We're gonna need some significant energy to push through that. And will we be able to push through that with all the uncertainty that we have with a budget deadline uh, pending with um, uh, these uncertainties out there, China running into troubles, all that kind of stuff, um, Russia, you know, um, uh, building forces on the Ukraine border, all of these things um, create that uncertainty. So just be really, really careful. Let's take a look at the VIX. 
Now that VIX um, shot up strongly and we had a good pullback yesterday. It was nice to see that we needed that pullback. But unfortunately, let's take a look here. This big long downtrend that we have here in the chart, let's notice that we ended up at the end of the day kind of holding right there at that downtrend support and we have a little bit of price support right in here kind of holding the chart now we're gapping um, down this morning substantially so i'm guessing we're going to gap up substantially here in the vix this morning now what that means particularly for options traders is your option prices just are shooting through the roof here on that extrinsic value adding risk if you buy new positions this morning so be really careful with that and watch that carefully um, uh, obviously we're we're elevated above that 20 handle and I've talked about this many times um, anytime we're above this level I become a little bit concerned that fear could really start coming into the market uh, and holding in the market so let's watch that carefully and we're certainly elevated well above that at this point so let's take a look at our T2122. Now here's where we have a little hope of bounce. T2122, notice yesterday with all of that buying going on, T2122 barely came out of the basement here. It was barely lifting up and this morning we're gapping lower. So we're gonna be down here in this bullish reversal zone. Um, and in that bullish reversal zone, that's where we typically see that oversold condition and we find that energy to per push out. However, we do have some data coming our way today and uh, uh, some Fed talk out there that could keep us a little bit on the ugly side here for a while. So watch that closely. We do have that possibility that we could bounce around in this lower range for a little bit as well. So watch that carefully. But that does give us some hope that there should be a relief rally around the corner here soon. And then if we take a look at our T2107, T2107, notice here, guys, this is not a good thing. Um, T2107 yesterday barely moved. Um, it barely came up and this is the number of stocks above their 200 day moving average so we were pretty ugly in this yesterday 39% um, of our stocks are holding above their 200 day moving average that means there is an awful lot of downside pressure here in the market this morning's gap down could easily break that low right there and send us lower um, in this chart so kind of keep in mind there's a lot of weight pulling heavily on that market to the downside we'll want to watch that now if we do happen to catch a bounce here that could serve potentially as that nice double bottom and pushing us back up but we'll want to watch these resistance levels in this chart as we rally back and then let's take a look at the t2108 now t2108 if it were up to me this wouldn't be a 40-day moving average this would be a 50-day moving average but nobody called me when they created this indicator and if you take a look at this I got to tell you that wasn't impressive yesterday day either notice that we actually didn't improve in our t2108 yesterday the number of stocks above their 40-day moving average um, only 36 percent of the stocks above their 40-day moving average that means we have a very select few and can I say the big tech giants the very select few doing all the lifting in the market Oh my goodness, what could happen if those guys start to sell off? Think about that carefully. Now, um, certainly we've broken this uptrend and we've got some resistance in here in this chart now that we've created as those stocks continue to slip and they'll slip a little bit more uh, first thing this morning. Let's take a look at our T2101. T2101, we pushed up here. We haven't quite spiked out of this um, downtrend but I think we probably will this morning that possibility does exist that will spike up out of here now my major concern is not that spike up out of that wedge my major concern is if we spike up and we hold a higher low in here if we hold above here and then 
um, start going that direction, that's where I would be really concerned about the market. So watch that carefully. And it's certainly possible because we are oversold in the short term that we could spike up, turn right back around, come back down, and then just continue to wind um, this wedge up here um, in the chart. So watch that carefully. Let's take a look at our economic calendar for today. Um, our economic calendar, we do have some interesting things to pay attention to on the day. Notice that today we have Case Scheller at 9 p.m. We have the Chicago PMI at 945. Consumer confidence is probably the bigger one today to be paying attention to. So keep a close eye on that. Right now consensus is suggesting it goes a little bit lower. If it comes in a little bit lower and holds it around the estimate, we might be okay. But if um, it goes substantially lower with this fear that's starting to crop up, that could have market impacts. And then take a look at the very same time, we're gonna have Jerome Powell, and he's gonna be joined by Janet Yellen, and they're gonna be out there talking at the Senate Banking Committee. Um, we know when Powell speaks, everyone listens. So keep a close eye on that. This could be crucial today because I suspect Mr. Powell's going to come out with a great big sigh of relief that this COVID variant is going to provide him cover to continue to keep the pedal to the metal in printing. Now that <laughs> just adds more and more debt um, to the market and fans the flames of inflation in the market as well. So he's walking a really thin line here. Plus, we have that situation where uh, Jenny Yellen says, we're going to be up against it. We're going to potentially be at that default point by the 15th of December. So we need a budget um, coming out and um, we need to raise that debt ceiling, which so far we haven't been able to get Congress to get their act together and get that done. So watch carefully for that. That could be an interesting aspect for today. And then as you're planning forward, remember we've got that ADP number on Wednesday morning. So keep a close eye on that. ISM is also um, going to be a potential big mover uh, there on Wednesday. Let's take a look at our earnings calendar. Now our earnings calendar, we have um, about 31 companies on the calendar. There are quite a few of those that are un confirmed reports. But that being said, we have a bigger group of notables today. So if you guys want to catch the full list of notables, make sure you click the link just below the title of the video, take you back to the blog, and you can catch that full list of notables this morning. Take a look, a um, couple I'll just cover real quick. Um, AMBA will be reporting today. We're going to hear from a box today. We're also going to hear from a Momo today. Looks like that one's looking lower. And maybe one of the bigger ones we're going to hear from Salesforce. Um, so keep an eye on those today as they react to that data. Let's take a look at really quickly at some stocks that could be setting up guys but before we do that if you can do me a quick favor if this is the first time you've seen these videos click that subscribe button on youtube click that bell icon when it pops up make sure you click those thumbs up buttons and leave those brief comments it helps the channel to continue to grow um, and i really want to say thank you very much by the way guys i am putting together um, this uh, giveaway event uh, that we're going to do um, after reaching 25,000. Thank you so much to everyone um, um, who has participated in that. You guys are awesome. I truly appreciate it. And thank you so much to those folks that continue to support the channel with Buy Me a Coffee. If you're not a member of Hit and Run Candlesticks and Right Way Options and want to continue to support this content, that is an easy way to do it. And you can just click that link right below the title of the video. Let's take a look at just a few stocks, but I got to tell you guys, I'm going to suggest an awful lot of caution here this morning. Um, with the gap down we're seeing here this morning, you might actually be more in favor of some short trades um, in the market. So be kind of careful. And I'll tell you what I told the folks in RWO yesterday. I honestly was 
rooting for a rally. I want to see more of a rally in the market because as we rally back into price resistance levels here in the chart, rally back up, I want to be looking for short trades, not long trades. So watch that very carefully. Um, we could have lots of volatility. Now we could certainly, we, we have this tendency that we rally at the end of the year, but there has been years in my career where the Santa Claus rally didn't happen. As a matter of fact, Santa Claus got kicked in the teeth. Um, is that one of these years? Maybe. We'll see um, as we progress along, but be really, really careful. Now, a place you might want to look is in that oil sector. Take a look at XLE. XLE rallied back substantially yesterday, but pulled back again this morning. As you can see, we're looking a little bit lower, but I can't imagine if, if the Fed is going to continue to keep their foot on the gas here, um, that oil sector um, is going to see substantial selling unless this COVID variant really starts to um, drive, well, really starts to drive um, ec economies lower. That would decrease that demand on that oil sector. And that is certainly possible. So keep a close eye on that. Take a look at um, some of these stocks like um, McDonald's. McDonald's has been holding up pretty well, but just getting an ugly failure here this morning. Um, that might be where we might have finally rejected some of these highs up here. We might be looking at a failure pattern to come into play um, on that chart. So watch those carefully. You might want to look to some of the defensive sectors stocks like PepsiCo. Notice PepsiCo held up yesterday. It's holding up today. We might look to a few of those to find a little bit of security. And um, one of the things that I thought was kind of interesting yesterday is utilities holding up quite well. So that's another sign that we're looking for a little bit of safety, looking for a little bit of dividend yield, a uh, little security. Take a look at NEE. NEE had a really nice day yesterday. <laughs> pretty wild price action this morning, but keep a close eye on that. Uh, this is a big breakout um, an NEE and may have some upside potential. So keep a close eye on that. I continue to hold um, a plug. I'm not suggesting you should be, but I continue to hold plug. We continue to hold um, above this um, support area in the chart. And although it's been uh, tremendously volatile. It's not an easy one to hold. I'll tell you that, guys. This, I think, still has that potential um, if we can find that bullishness in the market to uh, kind of take off to the upside. So watch that carefully. So with that, guys, I'm going to leave it at that today. Uh, I want to caution you to be very, very careful. As a matter of fact, try to avoid the gambling in this market stand aside let the let's let the institutions the big money let's let them duke it out and decide what direction the market is going to go and then we come in and ride those coattails as they start picking up the support levels in the chart and start moving higher be really, really careful with that wide-eyed speculation because there could be a lot more volatility in the market today and the days coming, so be careful. So with that, everyone, I want to wish you all the very best. Have an awesome, awesome day, and we'll see you right back here bright and early Wednesday morning.